well, this is Artifacts Mars, and this one's too good not to share. Have a smiley. Uh, if you don't know who he is, Have a smiley is American talk show host, author, liberal political commentator, entrepreneur, advocate, and philanthropist. Uh, he has said, right here in this article, oops, Uh, but Donald Trump could bring, he feels Donald Trump could bring back slavery, like they had before the Civil War. Uh, Mr. Smiley, sir, you're, uh, a few cards short of full back. I believe there's, I forget which amendment it is, but there's this little constitutional amendment that Prohibit slavery. But you're living way in the past, Mr. Slavery. You're not, uh, they said you're three times short of pulled back. That's obvious. Um, he's ri ripping, uh, Trump one, one thing after another. But, uh, you scroll down here, and Mr. Slavery, do you believe we've given Christ a state of our democracy? We black folk could ever find ourselves enslaved again. Whoa! Didn't see that one coming. Neither did mostly white audience. White fell over the room. I don't know where he was. My answer? Yes. Yeah. Seven months ago, President Obama Nominated Merrick Garland to replace deceased Justice Anthony Lee on Supreme Court is his constitutional duty, not just prerogative to do so hours after the President's announcement. Baldwin's announcement there will be no hearings, no votes, no action whatsoever until after American people vote for new press. They kept their word. What does this have to do with uh, Trump, Mr. Smiley? Nothing. In my lifetime, I've never seen a Congress so blatantly mock our Constitution. Uh, no one's smiling. Uh, I've never seen a president so blatantly mock it. I don't even consider Obama to be the president. In my lifetime, it's Especially striking it comes from the political party, it's always lecturing us about the rule of law. What what is worse is they're getting away with it. Republicans have turned this constitutional issue into a political football and sucker to the White House. Democrats and Congress and the news media are playing the game by their rules. That's stupid. It's bullshit. This is a travesty of justice where it all has but disappeared. This news story. I wonder what other constitutional kind of mandate Congress could just decide to ignore. Is it possible that the White House, the opposition party, and the Congress and the news media could be cowardly, complacent, too frozen by fear to actually do anything to stop their overreach? And it goes on and on. So, the Constitution could be thwarted and black folk end up enslaved again. The legal scholars, of course, will find the question ludicrous and laughable. Well, Mr. Smiley, any sane person would find that question ludicrous and laughable. They don't have to be legal scholars. It wasn't far fetched for a young student to trust me at Lehigh that evening. That's because he's been lied to by people like you, Mr. Smiley. And honestly, with hair raising, bone showing, Fine breaking, nerve wracking path we're on right now. So I think where this democracy can end up one sad day. We don't get off this low road and make our way to higher ground soon. Unbelievable. Well, uh, what more can you say about this guy? He's
there's a bunch of different planets you can use. You can for a full back. The elevator doesn't go all the way at the top. Not firing in all eight cylinders. Whatever. The guy's a nut job, basically. Funny, though. Right, he's paranoid. No one with the smiling is going to tolerate would ever tolerate people being put under ribbon chain in this country. I don't care whether it's blacks or anybody else. We're not going to tolerate it. So, please, Mr. Tavis Smiley, see a psychiatrist if you actually believe your own drivel. And if you don't, then please stop posting this garbage. I'm on the facts of Mars. Thanks for watching.